remember the day quite clearly. It was 10th of July 2013, so Oscar was 13 months old. We had just celebrated his first birthday um, on the 12th of June, and I was about to get dinner on, so I let Oscar go outside and play. After I'd put dinner on, I went and sat down on the couch. And it was probably only two or three minutes uh, when I thought I'd better go and check in on Oscar. I went outside and I couldn't see him um, anywhere. So my initial thought was that he had been abducted because he was only 13 months, so he was only crawling or furniture walking. So I ran to the front gate and looked outside, looked up and down the street, and I couldn't see him anywhere. Just as I went to the back gate, from the corner of my eye, I just see these legs sticking up from the esky, and the esky was actually left over from his birthday party um, a month prior. Obviously, the ice had melted, and you just wouldn't think that an esky would be a hazard. And yeah, and I looked down into the esky and the water was probably halfway, halfway full in the esky and his eyes were wide open underwater. I remember picking him up with his legs and just throwing him onto the carpet. I started CPR, um, why I'm, you know, on the speakerphone to the, the responder at the other end and being a nurse, I think I was only two years out into my um, degree, I have never performed CPR on a patient before. I remember pumping his little chest and on the phone to the operator and I'm saying, he's gone, he's gone. And she just kept reassuring me, just keep going, just keep going. Paramedics are on their way to help you out. And I was just pumping his little chest and it felt like an eternity. And all of a sudden with one pump, he just coughed and he was coughing up water. And I remember the responder on the other end, she just said, she goes, was that a cough that I heard? And I said, yeah, it was. And she goes, you did it, you did it. You were able to bring him back. He is going to be okay. We've got paramedics on the way. Just wrap him up, keep him warm, keep an eye on him, someone is coming. So when we got to the hospital um, with Oscar in emergency into the resus bay, we were told by the specialist there that we were actually quite lucky that he fell into an esky that had cold water, giving him a better chance of not having a permanent uh, hypoxic brain injury. Your split second decision can give another person a second chance of life and my son is living proof of that. I was able to bring him back to life. You hear horror stories of people that go into cardiac arrest and they just didn't have a chance to survive because Bystanders just didn't know what to do. Hi, I'm Brooke. Hear my story so that you don't have to live it.